Hey guys, welcome to Historiac, where we uncover the secrets behind the biggest moments in history. Today we're going to talk about the untold story of the atomic bombs of 1945. Before we start, please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Hmm, this doesn't feel right. Let's change this up a little. Much better. Now this feels post-apocalyptic. Like New York City and the Avengers. Great movie. Um, okay, anyways, when we talk about the first atomic bombs, most of the time people talk about the two atomic bombs over Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki on the 6th and 9th August of 1945. The two bombings killed about 355,000 people, of whom were mostly civilians. The first atomic bomb was built in Los Alamos, New Mexico, during World War II under a program called the Manhattan Project. The first atomic bomb to be used in warfare used uranium, but few people know where the uranium came from. Today we're going to dive into that. The uranium that drove the first atomic bomb came from Shinkolobe mine. The mine was a uranium mine in the Katanga province of Democratic Republic of Congo, located 90 miles northwest of the Pumbashi. The story behind Shinkolobe began when a rich seam of uranium was discovered in 1915. While Congo was under colonial rule by Belgium, the mineral deposits at Shinkolobe were discovered in 1915 by geologist Robert Rich Sharp. There was little demand for uranium back then. Its mineral form is known as pitch blend, from a German phrase describing it as a worthless rock. Instead, the land was mined by the Belgian company Union Minier for its traces of radium a valuable source element that has been recently isolated by Mary and Pierre Curie. Few people know where or even what Shinkolobu is, but the small mine in the southern province of Congo played a part in one of the most violent and devastating events in history. Nuclear weapons are made with uranium or plutonium. To get uranium, you need to mine it using workers digging highly radioactive material. This work was done by Congolese miners without proper protection. Although Article 3 of the Belgium Colonial Charter stated that nobody can be forced to work on behalf and for the profit of companies or privates, the Belgium government closed their eyes on the forced labor imposed by Congolese workers. When the U.S. began the secret Manhattan Project, the uranium mined from the U.S. and Canada yielded or less than 1% uranium, which was not enough to build a nuclear weapon. The only mine that had uranium with the potential for making the nuclear weapons was Shinkolobe site in Congo, the richest uranium mine in the world. It was only when nuclear fission was discovered in 1938 that the potential of uranium became apparent. After hearing about the discovery, Albert Einstein immediately wrote to the U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt advising him that the element could be used to generate a colossal amount of energy, even to construct powerful bombs. Still nowhere in the world has as much uranium as Congo. In a deal with Union Minier, negotiated by the British, the U.S. secured 1,200 tons of Congolese uranium, which was stockpiled on Staten Island in the U.S., as well as an additional 3,000 tons that was stored above ground at the mine in Shinkolobe. But it was not enough. The U.S. Army engineers were dispatched to drain the mine, which had fallen into disuse and brought back into production. Congolese workers toiled all day and all night in the open pit, sending hundreds and hundreds of tons of uranium ore to the U.S. every month. All of this was carried out under the blanket of secrecy, so not as to alert Axis powers about the existence of the Manhattan Project. Shinko Lobe was erased from maps and spies were sent to the region to show deliberate disinformation about what was taking place there. The word Shingolobe was never to be uttered. The secrecy was maintained long after the end of the war. The effort was so thorough that people still believed that the atomic bomb were built with Canadian uranium. Although some of the uranium came from Bear Lake in Canada, the majority came from Congo. Some of the uranium that came from the Congo was also refined in Canada before it shipped to the US. And that is a true story of the atomic bomb. This is why Congo is always in the middle of conflict. 
due to the rich minerals such as coltan, which is used on phones and laptops for the creation of capacitors and transistors, which regulate the flow of energy, as well as cobalt, which is used in manufacturing batteries, magnets, and high-strength alloys. Cobalt is most commonly known for the use of Tesla batteries. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and again, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See y'all in the next one!